Diorama Worlds is an early access sandbox world builder, released just a few weeks ago. It's available for the HTC Vive and the Oculus Rift for about $7 US, but also offers a free demo. Thanks to Levi777L for the free key. Here's my review of it in its current state as of April 2017. We'll start with gameplay. This is essentially an object placing game. Think tilt brush, but with assets. You're given access to a vast suite of buildings, props, landscapes, characters, planets, spaceships, and you do whatever the hell you want to with them. There are currently four contexts to choose from. Fantasy, sci-fi, apocalyptic, and modern, with a good amount of objects in each. There's also a good selection of skyboxes available, and some of these are just simply stunning. Now let's talk about the actual interface. While the menu system is fairly well executed, the actual controls and manipulating of objects seems quite clunky and counterintuitive to me. There's quite a bit of work to be done here in my opinion. Navigation is also a bit janky. You can rotate the space, scale the space, and pull the space around you, but what I really longed for was the ability to glide smoothly through the world, similar to how you would in Google Earth VR. Unfortunately, if the option was there, I couldn't find it. Something I'm really enjoying in this game is the ability to cycle through other people's worlds. Now, as crap as it makes me feel about my own creations, it's pretty cool to see what other people are coming up with. Now for the graphics. Pretty good for the most part, although I did notice some variation in quality between objects. Though that's really just me being picky, I think. No issues with performance on my 1070, and what load times there were, were pretty easily missed. Fun Factor. Now, a somewhat steep and confusing learning curve made this title a bit of a hard slog for the first half hour or so. but. Having pushed through that, I found myself having a blast. The joy I felt while putting together opposing sides of an epic space battle took me right back to my childhood, rearranging toy soldiers on my bedroom floor. Except now I'm a 26 year old man waving my arms around my living room. Thank God for curtains. Now for the verdict. Make no mistake, this is a title that needs work. Otherwise, it wouldn't be an early access. At this stage, the developer seems pretty keen to listen to community feedback, though. If you're into this sort of genre, and not everyone is, this is definitely one to watch. At the very least, make sure you grab the free demo.